the local pond here, catching some trout. I've had a pretty busy day today, so we don't have much time to fish, even though it was a gorgeous day. But my experience is the fish don't really start biting until the sun gets to about where it is anyway. So, see how many fish we can catch. Eat it already, darn you. Oh, dang time. Ugh. Pretty one. Woohoo. Okay, we got another trout on the board. Pretty male. A decent sized one. About time. Didn't miss him that time. Alright, this will be the last fish of the evening, methinks. Pretty one. Another pretty one. Alright, well, we finally got one that swallowed the hook a little bit, so I think we're gonna keep this one. And call it quits. We're gonna stay real then and uh, and get out of here. He's gonna keep him right in the net. <laughs> I should probably should bleed him out here. It'd probably be a good thing to do, eh? Let me slit his throat real quick, and, uh, and then we're gonna call it quits. Hello and welcome back to Cray Outdoors. I am very excited today. We are at the South Fork Holston River. This area is known to be one of the best trout fishing locations in the South. So I'm excited. This river supposedly has like 10,000 trout per mile, which is ridiculous. That's pretty similar to some of like the Lake Ontario tributaries and stuff during the spawn uh, along like, yeah, the, the Great Lakes and stuff out in Western New York where I'm from. So the, the fishing here might actually be comparable to Western New York where I'm from, from what I hear. So I'm excited. We're using Western New York fishing techniques. We got egg sacks with us. I tied up a bunch of egg sacks last night from uh, a little rainbow trout that I caught that was full of eggs. Normally I don't do very well with stocked trout eggs, but uh, they stock a lot of trout in here. So uh, those stocked trout eggs might actually work for the wild brown trout that are in this stretch. Wild brown trout and stocked rainbows are the things that we're targeting. We also have my brand new center pin. So um, it's not... The, the center pin is the same old center pin reel, but I've got the uh, the brand new uh, center pin rod. Ironically, it's uh, a red red line, the same one that uh, Mike from Bill and Mike's Angling Adventures just got. But I haven't broken mine in yet. Um, I've had it for almost a month now and just haven't had the chance to use it. So I'm going to use it today, hopefully slam some trout and check it out. Overcast. <laughs> I really feel like I'm back in western New York. Uh, it's it's uh, Overcast days like this are rare here in Tennessee. Uh, overcast days that are nice. So uh, it's a nice overcast day. I think we're going to slay them. I'm excited to get to fishing. Uh, hopefully we catch some big old fat brown trout. Got a trout on our first cast. That's ridiculous. <laughs> first cast. <laughs> I should have been filming. <laughs> That is absolutely ridiculous. I had a feeling we'd have a ridiculous day today. Trout on my very first cast. I have a feeling it's going to be a ridiculous day. 10,000 trout per mile. We're going to slay them with our Western New York gear. Got on another little rainbow. Fish number two of the day. Guy down there on the... Uh, on a raft boat down there has got something that looks huge. Whoa. Come here. Rainbows so far. Oh, 
hopefully we get into them big wild browns is what we really want to catch. Fish number three. Just rainbows so far. I'm hoping to get a big brown trout eventually. Oh man, this one swallowed it a little bit. Alright. See you later, boss. Alright, well the guide boats seem to be pretty tight against this dam here, so we're gonna take our first cast with the center pen. The fish right off the bat, now we've gone over an hour without a bite even. I think we better head back up above the weir. All the guide boats were here below the weir, and they're catching a few this morning. But the fish stopped biting, all the guide boats went down the river, so I don't know. I guess the weir, you gotta hit it first thing in the morning. Hopefully, we can still catch stuff up above the dam. We're gonna head back up above the weir and see what bites up there, see if we can catch some more of them rainbows. I'm determined to break in the new center pin today. And I see this bridge here as an opportunity to pretty much let my bobber run into infinity. So can't catch one on the center pin here, I'm not going to catch one on the center pin today. Cheating method here, it's a current break right there. And by letting it drip down and go where I want it to, I can get it in the current break where I want it. Boom, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, first trout on the pin. <laughs> I didn't, he just kind of sat there with it. Breaking in the new center pin. I should have brought the net down with me, eh? We've only got a six pound leader, so we can't horse him too hard. I think it's just another rainbow. What I want is a big wild brown. Yep, stacked rainbow. Seems all right there. Somewhere on me, I've got forceps. Wow, settle down, son. All right, see you later, Mr. Rainbow. He thinks we need a new egg sack. Cool, all right, well, finally broke in the new center pen, the new Redman. Her red line. Red line. Fish of the day, oh, it came off, no! That was a good one, folks. Holy cow, that was a good one. I mean, I don't think it was a, uh, it wasn't, I don't think it was a, a, a monster. I don't know if it was like a 20 inch fish, but that was our first one that was, you know, over a couple pounds. Oh, darn. Spit the hook. As soon as I turned the, as soon as I took my hand off to turn on the camera, a bit right in the current. Could have been a big sucker or something, too. No telling for sure that it was a trout, but it didn't feel like a sucker. It felt like a trout. He hit on one of them rainbow egg sacks, the white. Looks like we need a new one, too. Yeah, he wrecked it. He obliterated it. That could have been our big brown, finally. Darn. All right, well, that's the first bit of success we had on the pin. Ah, see if we can pull any trout from in these rapids here. Well, it is officially getting dark out, so we're gonna call it quits. Came back to the bridge for the last 30 minutes here. I thought for sure I'd be able to catch more rainbows at least off the bridge. Nothing. Today, really, uh, I mean, it didn't end as well as it started off. Let's put it that way.